Chapeldoff Chapel in South Yarra is the home to many a fine performer and the launching pad for some great new talent and shows too. The comedy drama Spencer is currently at the chapel. The season wraps up this coming Sunday. I thought we'd have a chat to uh, the star of stage and screen, an actor by the name of Lyle Brooks. You know this man's face. I'm sure you're going to know him when I talk to him too. Have a chat about the show, and he's online right now. Lyle, nice to have you at uh, KC Radio. Good afternoon, Lee. How are you going? Doing well, pal. How's the show going? It's going really well, although I've just heard you say that it's going to be thunderstorms on Sunday night. That's definitely <laughs> bumping out of it, Peter. Thanks very much. That's going to be horrible. <laughs> well, you'll keep but, people inside. you see they'll all come down to the, the chapel, go inside and sit there and keep warm. That's right, yes. Yeah. So grab, grab a hot drink or a wine and come in to see the show. No, it's going really, really, really well. Great that, reviews good. in the papers, yeah. I've been reading some of those. I haven't seen the show, to be honest with you. I've seen most of the things down at Chapel, but this one I've uh, missed uh, only because of uh, a busy life at the moment. But uh, you're oh, getting yeah. some great reviews, mate. You, you really are. Yeah, I reckon it'll have another life. That's that's my feeling at the moment. It's, it's really resonated with a lot of people, both mm. sort of theatre goers and indies. Um, it's very recognisable. You hear it as soon as you walk in the theatre. The the set is, is an old lounge room, like an out of suburban lounge room that hasn't been updated much since the seventies. And we can hear people like they're coming going, Oh my god, that's my mum's there you oh, are. Oh, my God, that's right. You can identify with it, yeah. <laughs> but Absolutely. it's basically the story of a tight-knit family, isn't it? T- tell us about the story. Yeah, so it's about a, sort of a suburban football-mad family um, of three children and a single mum who's, who's very sort of tough love, your definition of tough love. And, uh, and for some reason or other, all of her kids have moved back home at the right time, just at the point when the youngest son, Scott, who's sort of a big AFL up-and-comer, uh-huh. has just discovered he's got a two-year-old son he never knew about. Mm. So it's one of those wonderful, you know, all set in one weekend, all these things come to a head. The, the ex-husband slash, you know, absent father of the kids turns up at the last minute too, and it's sort of hilarity ensues, but also a lot of tears kind of ensue as well. Yes, yeah. yeah. I, I, I can imagine that. Is, this, is there a young boy acting in this too? No, there's not. Really it's it's, it's an imaginary thing, yeah. Yeah, our little second cousin is the, is the kid in the uh, in the in the posters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right. Well, yeah. Waiting, well, waiting well, the photo than the posters I show him with you, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a bit yeah, it's a bit like waiting for God. There's, there's always this, the kids going to turn up, he's going to turn up, and he's not turning up. Yes, he is. Oh, at the very end, he's, <laughs> he's almost there. <laughs> but this would ring true with people, I dare say, because there are relationships like this, and there's a, a son or a daughter out there somewhere, and suddenly they turn up at the doorstep, and mum and dad, here I am, or dad, here I am, you know. And you, oh, absolutely. You can identify, I suppose. Yeah, and, and it's funny what people pick up on different nights. Sometimes we have a, have a real sort of laugh fest of a show with the audience, and some nights. They're quite quiet and, and, and teary often. There's this beautiful, beautiful, sad moment where, um, when the absent father returns home and the daughter, who's the oldest child, says, you know, when you were leaving, you took me out shopping and you said, make a list of all the things we can do. And every time I come back to this, you will do those things on that list. And she says, and I made a list, I made a huge list, and you never came back. Go on. <laughs> and there's this sort of funny, sad moment when he is back and she comes storming back in a few scenes later and says, where is he? And she starts reading off the list of all the things that she'd wanted to yeah, do with him. And yeah. it's kind of hilarious, but also just so sad. Well, well, I can understand that because you may have people in the audience in that particular night uh, that have got a situation like that in their lives. Oh, and, it, and it hits home, it hits home, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And we, on our very opening night, we had... Um, uh, a lady come stay back afterwards in the foyer and say that that was me. The listing got me. I was, she said, I was laughing and also realising that sort of I was crying at the same yeah. time. And <laughs> yeah, you can understand that totally. totally. Yeah, totally. So it's a, that's why it's, we say it's a comedy come drama, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. It's both yeah. in one. Yeah. Tell us about your life and and what you've done. You, you've been a very very busy man too. You've had what, winners and losers. You are neighbours. I'm sure as who are neighbours. I'm, sure I'm, sure I'm um, trying to keep out of trouble. Yeah, neighbours keeps casting me as yeah. characters I could never actually play, like balloon <laughs> operators and uh, football coaches. <laughs> Football coaches. <laughs> <laughs> the Blake Mysteries, you've been on Dr. Blake. Uh, what did you do? Miss Fisher too and the ABC. Yeah. You've done a heck of a lot of things. Yeah, I, I tend to sort of uh, pop around the, the TV stuff. Mainly, mainly live theatre, though. That's yes, my, um, yes. Well, that's your forte, life. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I prefer that to, to TV and film. But, of course, you never say no to a TV gig yeah. if it comes up. I, I think I saw you on Guys and Dolls, too. Wasn't the production company did that one with you? Oh, no, I did Guys and Dolls in Sydney. In uh, Sydney, was it? Yeah. The, the, I thought the, the, you were down here in Guys and Dolls too, wasn't you? Okay. No, I've done a few production company shows too, so I sort of spread myself over music theatre as well as yeah. straight theatre. Yeah. I've got um, Merrily We Roll Along, Sondheim Musical coming up Well, next. that's coming up, isn't it? Yes, I noticed yeah. that. Yeah. So I'm quietly just 
uh, worried about that one. <laughs> is, that, is that going to play in Melbourne, is it? Is that Melbourne? Yeah, that'll be playing at, um, uh, at the MTC Theatre. Okay. In, uh, in July. In July. Merrily yep. we roll along. Now, why are you worried about it for? Tell me. Oh, it's a big thing. And even over some time, you know, he's a bit of a masochist when it comes to writing songs for, for singers and actors. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and I have to play the piano in this one too. It's oh, do you? Bit. Yeah. Okay. So are you I've a got, trained pianist? I've got a few skills a long time ago. So you've got to bring those back out, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Dust very, off very the right. cobwebs. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Get your scales that's going right. and your hand and exercise. And <laughs> that's right. Oh, but I mean, that's, that's the joy of it, I guess, is you get to dust off these old skills and, and, and yeah. learn something new every show you do, every project. Yeah. yeah. And, and tell me about the Pride. Uh, you're in the Pride too and you got a nomination, I think, for the Green Room, didn't you? Yeah, we got nominated for Best Ensemble for the Pride. That was with Red Stitch a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. And then the following year, I think we got a nomination, different company for Savages with uh, Patricia Cornelius' play at 45 Downstairs. Yep. And and years ago, I got a, a nomination for a music theatre show, which was hilarious. But What, um, what was that yeah, one? That was the thing about men. That was uh, at Theatre Works. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. 10 years ago now, yeah. yeah. So I've never won a green room, always the bridesmaid. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're there in the background. They're just waiting for the grabbing now. <laughs> yeah, well... Any chance of Spencer? Who knows? Oh, who knows? It's, I mean, yeah, as I said, it's gotten received so much better than we ever hoped. So who knows? I think I think it's really made people notice, uh, step and take notice of the writer, Katie Warner. Yes. Now, we um, we produced her last play, too, which was just a one-man show that I did uh, called A Prudent Man, and that's touring to New York in November and having a gasworks season and touring Australia next year. And I think a lot of people have suddenly gone, oh, who is this? This new playwright, and of course she says, I've been around for a while now. <laughs> mm, but suddenly she's there. Yeah, yeah, she's very hot yeah. at the moment. Now, now you're hot. Are you hoping that uh, Spencer will travel? Yeah, tour? we we hope so. It's it's got that. Um, it does have that appeal. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a big show, five people and, and a bigger set. But, uh, yeah, we're hoping it'll it'll hit some of the bigger centres around uh, well, in the next couple of years. I said in the intro there that uh, Chapel Off Chapel's often that, that launching ground for new shows, isn't it? And you get them in there, you get... Uh, they just take off. Oh, yeah, Chapel's yeah, but, great. We love working with those guys. We, um, we've we been to a couple of different theatres for different shows, but we've, we've really been looking forward to coming back. They really look after us there. And, and yeah, it's such great, great quality. You know, in the last couple of years, they've got a few shows that have gone on to tour or gone on to win awards. Yeah, they're really picking up. It's great. Well, the show's called Spencer. It uh, stars you, among other people, too. And uh, we recommend that you pop along and see this before Sunday night. At midnight, the yeah. hour will go and it's all finished and Cinderella's got the little shoe on again. So <laughs> it'll be too <laughs> late. bumping out in that storm. Yeah, exactly right with the thunderstorm. <laughs> all right, keep it in mind. It's called Spencer. And uh, go online uh, or phone Chapel off Chapel and book yourself a ticket to go and see this. There's no interval. It goes for 90 minutes. So go to the loo before you go in. That's important. Definitely. You don't want to be... Short, sharp, hilarious. Yep, you don't want to interrupt the show. Take care, my friend. I'll try and get down there and have a look at the weekend. And uh, oh, if I do, I'll, I'll say hello to you, Lyle. Fantastic. Thanks, pal. Thank Talk soon. Okay, bye-bye to you. Lyle Spencer, uh, from Spencer. Lyle um, Brooks there talking to us about Spencer. And uh, go along and see the show. It sounds hilarious. It's also a bit of a drama, too. And you heard there from uh, the horse's mouth that, uh, you know, it can be a bit of a tearjerker at times, too. Spencer at Chapel Off Chapel, playing now until Sunday night.